And you guys are on. Hi, guys. Happy Thursday. We are here with Bria from the Laughlin River Tours. I mean, everybody knows the boat. It's so exciting. It's like Miami Vice boat in <laughs> Laughlin. She is kind of sexy. <laughs> she is so sexy. I feel like if you're not dressed up when you go on there, you are doing something wrong, especially for a big event and party. Yes. Yes. Everybody wants to be on there. Um, we did a community spotlight down there. Thank you so much for allowing that us. Was fun. It that was, was so fun. That was so good. I think... Um, the story behind you and your family and really what got you out here and you know the celebration obviously um is one of the best parts of you guys because that just kind of you know really i mean blended family all these businesses yeah work so hard it's a lot it is a lot <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations Not gonna on lie. being successful hey thank you <laughs> i i really do i feel blessed all the way around um i was excited to come out here when I, when I first met my husband, well, my husband now, um, he kind of, I, we would talk on the phone every night and he would tell me he's sitting outside looking at the river and I'm sitting in Las Vegas looking at the concrete jungle Yeah, no. and I was like so jealous all the time. I want to be out there. I want to be on the water. So I started visiting a lot more and at the time I was selling real estate in Las Vegas. So which is a busy, big corporate jungle oh god and at the time it was when all of the foreclosures were at their peak and so it's a lot of investors buying properties and it was very very busy, busy. um so i i was it was a break for me to come here and just be refreshed by the river and i told myself i'm gonna move here one day i'm gonna live here and i'm gonna live by the river i don't care if it's in a tent I don't care if it's in a trailer. That's funny. I think you might have manifested I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I was lucky enough. We were lucky enough to get a place. Um, the red condos that are right across from Harris. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you've ever seen them. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So we lived there for a little while. And at that time, I there's a little island that's right out in front of that. Yes. That we would sit on the little island there. And I would watch the celebration boat go up and down the river. And sitting on that island, you could hear the narration because it's quiet. Nobody else is on the water. And so I would kind of pick up the, a little bit of that. And and I just saw myself owning that boat one day. I'm like, that wow. is going to be like my perfect scenario. I'm going to live here. I'm going to own that the boat. <laughs> All day long. We're going to have parties and weddings. And then I found myself owning the boat and cursing myself for wanting to do weddings and parties <laughs> because I'm <laughs> hand making the bouquets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, you didn't know you were becoming a, pain, a party planner when yeah. you owned it. So thank goodness I had Sharon because she kind of put an XNA to all of that stuff. We used to hand make our bouquets for the weddings. And so every time we signed a wedding up, we're like, okay, another bouquet. And we had a whole floral <laughs> shop in the office. And oh I mean, my we, God. we did it all. And, um, it, so it was, it was fun though. I, I was, I was very grateful for that transition, but, um, shortly after meeting Trevor, we had a surprise. Um, our baby girl was oh, on baby. the way. <laughs> so fun fact for you ladies, if your man says he can't have children, that needs to be verified. <laughs> <laughs> Double check that. I, oh boy. <laughs> because I, yeah, medically he was not supposed to be able to have children. But so. he did. We have our little angel. So and you she's had a huge congratulations. Three boys. I had four boys, four boys when I met him. So um, I have twins that were ten at the time. Oh wow, little guys! And and then um, the other two were in high school, not graduated yet. Uh, one was a senior, and the other one was um, in ninth grade. Were they like, Mom? Where are you moving us to? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're leaving Las well, Vegas for that. <laughs> yeah, when, when we moved here, the oldest had graduated by then, and then um, we brought the twins. Came and my other son, he was in a sports program there, mm -hmm. so he would come on the weekends, and, and he started working the jet skis very early. They, I think, they all did. They were all around. Ten, well, the boys started at ten, the twins, and then Ty, I think he was uh, fourteen. 13 or 14, um, our very first motorsport shop that we owned, all the boys pitched in there and started working at our motorsport shop. That very was the first cool. business that Trevor and I started together. So we each came to the table with $30,000. <laughs> I took a, I had just fortunately had a big sale in real estate that 
um, had just closed. And so I said, okay, we're going to do is this. what I got. And we're going to do this. <laughs> yeah. $30,000, bought some jet skis, started our motorsports shop, and then went from there. Um, we ended up getting the contract for the jet skis at the Rocky River Adventure Center over at the Aquarius. And that's really, I think, what kind of catapulted us into being able to take the next step and the next step and the next step. So Very cool. Well, you started very simply. Yes. And then it just exploded. Yes. Yes. Due to your guys' hard work. It was fun. And involving all the kids, that's exciting. It was fun. It was fun building it. And it was fun having them all active growing up in that. Because like I said, you know, we were in the big city. And so I think they found it equally as refreshing coming yeah. out to the river and being able to jump on the jet skis. Jump on the jet skis. And they all had their own stand-ups and got to learn how to do that. And Very so, cool. Hold on. I'm going to pause you right there okay. <laughs> because we told you guys that there's going to be a trivia question. And whoever gets this trivia question right in the live show, in the chat first, um, will receive a gift, a tour. So can you tell them what the trivia question is? Okay. I'm excited about this. So the, the celebration, the original celebration, as probably most of you know, most of your viewers know, yeah. was donated to the city of Bullhead City. Correct. And it now sits on the, be the beach over there. They're going to so use it for special cool. events. And when we purchased the new boat, there was a lot of kind of contemplation about how we were going to come up with the name for it because the celebration boat has a lot of history in this yeah. area. Um, it was built in the lot at the where the airport is, so it was completely constructed in Bullhead City. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. Yes, and the previous owners, um, to come up with a name for it, they did a uh, they did a. I guess I can't say that I know, right. No, yeah, I'm like don't give them too much. <laughs> don't give it away. So, so 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 I almost <laughs> yeah so. <laughs> Okay, so the way the the old celebration was named is going to be the trivia question. Like, yes. how did it get its name? So when we decided that we were going to keep the name of the celebration, it's because there was that history there. And so we decided we can't just be the celebration too, right? Right. So it has to be the, the grand, grand celebration. celebration. Gotcha. So the question is, how did the celebration originally get its name? Who got to cho choose that? Let's see. So Let's we're going to take the answer in the chat, you guys. So yes. first person to put that up and get it correct is going to be a winner. Okay. So now I get to tell you the exciting part, okay. what you're going to win. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you're going to get two complimentary tickets for our scenic cruise aboard the Grand Celebration and lunch included. It's going to be a great day. It's so pretty on there. It is really pretty. So pretty on there. The boat's pretty, but Jeff, it's also we know pretty the answer. being on the Put river. it in for me so I can win. Just kidding. So there's an answer already in the <laughs> oh, chat. I'll tell you what it says, and then you can tell them if it's wrong or right. So they said the community voted on it. Mm, close, but mm, no cigar. No cigar. Okay. But that's close. Nice try. That's Eric and Heather Holmes. Keep it coming. Keep coming, though. Yeah, don't okay. give up. So finish your story, Jeff. You let us know when people pipe in. I will. In. Okay. Okay, so where were we at? So the boys... Uh, oh, growing one. up yeah. and, and being able to be a part of that business. So for me, I don't know, it just made it not work. It was just fun. And yeah. we worked our butts off. Like, we were there seven days a week But working, got to have the kids involved. But got to have so the kids everybody involved. Everybody was there. So it was really cool. Looking back on it, I feel like, you know, at the time, I was a little bit bitter when I... I, I was used to taking my birthday trip, so we used to go to Duck Creek and spend the weekend in the mountains, but it yeah. fell on a holiday. It was Labor Day. So you can't So leave. when I met Trevor, <laughs> he's like, no nope. town. <laughs> he's like, nope, sorry, holiday. It's the busiest day. You can't, you can't go anywhere. Like, so it's my birthday. I'm like, it's my birthday. I have to work. But, uh, but got look, another answer. Got uh, another answer. Ready? The mayor. Ooh, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, keep going, Mohawk. Keep going. Keep going, though. Keep trying. Yeah. So it, it, it just it I, it was all worth it, and it was fun, and I loved that they got to be a part of it, and it was it was not really didn't feel like work. It was yeah. exciting, you know. I loved being out on the river walk and meeting people and talking to people and trying to convince them that they wanted to rent a jet yeah. ski and <laughs> <laughs> come back and see me yeah. next year too. Yeah. So funny story. Um, that 
that's actually how I got to meet Warren Park. He's the owner of the old celebration. Uh, the original owner of the celebration. He's the, the gentleman responsible for the building of the boat and everything. Um, him and his wife, they were ready to retire. And we had approached them and asked them if we could buy the business. I told him, because I, I saw him every single day. I was over there working the like, jet skis. listen, I just know yes. that this is where I'm supposed to be. So I, I had approached him and asked him, and, and he said, no, no, we're, that's, I'm sorry, but the not offer is sale. not, yeah. <laughs> well, it was for sale. I, it just wasn't able to offer him what he wanted gotcha. for the boat. Mm. So some time went by. I think it was maybe a year, maybe a little bit longer than a year. And I continued to watch this man work so hard. He's, he was like in his 70s, I want to say. Aww. And he's hauling all of these supplies down to the boat. And, um, and and I'm just watching all of his hard work and thinking, one day he's, he's really going to get tired gonna of this. He's going to give up. He's going he's gonna to want me to have the boat. <laughs> so he did. He called us out of the blue one day and said, hey, we want to take you guys out to dinner. And so he took us out to dinner and said, I'd like to accept your offer, my original Aww. offer that I made him. And so it all worked out and it was, it was really cool. But it was, it was fun getting to know him in the business, not being the owner yet, yeah. not, not, but just seeing the outsides of that operation. Well, I can imagine he loved the boat and loved the business. Yeah. And I can imagine that's probably what he's seen in you guys and gradually realized that it was going to be that for you guys too. Yeah. It, it was, it was cool. It was a fun process. Um, when we, when I was working the jet ski booth over there, I would stand out on the river walk. Like I told you, I'm not kidding. I would stand out there and talk Somebody. to every single soul that walked <laughs> by on that river walk. And he, he caught wind of that. And so he, reprimanded his ticket booth gal and said you need to get out there like she is and you need to convince people that they need to go on the boat <laughs> so funny thing now our ticket booth gal um her name's ray we call her our, our ray of sunshine because she Aww. does that very thing she's out there Hi, every goodness. single day convincing everybody that they need to Aww, go on the boat i love it and she and but she it's perfect for her because she loves talking to people and she loves just being out there and and she loves the boat so we're we're really That's blessed cool. with the great 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 crew yes people, but. well i can only imagine going from the celebration to the new boat a lot of challenges really a even lot. just to get it here it was a lot it was a lot tell us a little bit about kind of how that constructed and what made you really choose to upgrade from the celebration so the celebration was a steel hull boat so made out of steel so the lifespan of some a vessel like that is only good for a certain period of time and we were approaching that period of time between 25 and 30 years where they automatically decommission decommission a vessel like that they won't allow it to be on the water any longer because it's it's deemed unsafe because gotcha. it, steel can rust so <clears throat> we knew that we were approaching having to replace the boat. We just didn't know where we were going to, do. yeah, who, who, were we going to have a custom made boat? Are we going to find a boat for sale? <laughs> um, yeah, we have a few a more answers, guys. Oh, let's hear. <laughs> so let's hear those while we're rolling along here. So somebody said the mayor, we know that, no. The driver of the boat, well, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, someone says pick names out of a hat. Mm, no. 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 <laughs> Keep guessing, So keep guys. going, guys. Yeah, keep going. So um, the stars just kind of aligned and brought everybody together. We happened to have a friend who was a neighbor, uh, had a neighbor who knew Adonia Yachts, the builder of the boat. Um, my operations manager, Sharon, she grew up in Page, Page. or where she lived in Page and knew this person also. So we kind of just... Like started he, the groundwork from yeah, there he flew out here in his helicopter and um this was his first custom commercial boat that he built he is Talk known about go big or go home huh? yeah he he built beautiful boats like like the one that we have but they're all personal so very elaborate very like high-end everything I mean, if, when you guys first saw like pictures and ideas, were you just like, yes, I, stunned? <laughs> yes, I, I, but see, we're looking at personal yachts, right? Yeah. And so they so have the smaller, the, 
nice round lounges and the big chandeliers and all of this stuff that's not practical for a commercial boat. So right. we're looking at all these things and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like this I, is, how do we I do want this? one for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when the boat got here, that was very tempting because it was so pretty. I'm like, I don't know if I want to let anybody on it. Live on the I think boat? I might just Can live we just here. Keep it? Yes, <laughs> just living on the boat. My yeah. gosh. Well, I think uh, you know. I heard kind of you guys uh, really giving a presentation on the boat and kind of the works of it and how mm -hmm. long it took and really shutting down streets to get it here. Yes. And not even realizing that that was going to be an issue. And yes. Holy heck. Yeah. So there was a workaround for there was construction happening during this time that they were going to be transporting the boat. So there's a lot of loopholes that you have to jump through. Mm -hmm. You have to have highway patrol escorts. Oh, Cause um, it's so big. It, yeah. it literally is so big. The yes. roads had to be shut down. Yes. Yes. And, <laughs> and there's closures on certain stretches of the highways because of construction. They don't even allow yeah. it. So they had to like go through <laughs> Las Vegas. I, I, I'm not even, I don't even know what, route they took we just it was so funny because the day that they transported the boat we were getting pictures from friends and relatives and people that live like, in oh vegas gosh, still. they're I like is this your boat there. and they're sending us pictures and it's on the highway and there's no track like traffic's backed up and they're like thanks <laughs> come visit us Kay. yeah yeah it was a huge feat and i mean from beginning to end it was kind of just a very long process very long and very stressful and i'm i'm so grateful that that part of it is done. I bet. Um, it's high stress trying to coordinate all of that and still run your business at the same time, not knowing when, uh, when that boat is going to arrive and how you're going to do that transition. So we're scheduling events right in advance. Right. Do we know if we're going to have them on the old boat or are we going to be having them on the new boat? Because those numbers change in price. You know what I yeah. mean? It's, yeah. It was a lot amount of, of people, amount of yeah. Everything. One of the things I thought was cool was when you guys got it to community park and actually continued to build it. Uh, there was a lot, yeah. a lot of stuff that you hadn't had put on yet. Yeah. And we got to watch that. I, every time I drove by, I'd see a little bit more added on. It was really cool. Yeah. It, it had to be brought in pieces because it was so large. Big. So the top had to be put on <laughs> yeah. and the wheelhouse had to be put on and yeah it's that grand yeah it was cool it was it was cool to watch it so we took several trips to um st george where the boat was manufactured towards the later state like we started i think january february march april going back there and seeing the progress and we were able to take pictures and kind of put that whole timeline I together i wish i would have had you get some of those pictures because it is amazing to see it mm -hmm. kind of emptied and, yes. and it's like it's gigantic. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it, I mean, we saw it when it was a pile, literally a pile of just metal, like mm. in this huge warehouse. So this manufacturer, I mean, he built probably maybe eight, 10 of these boats at one time. He's has like a huge, it's huge, his plant. It's so crazy. he's having, you know, construction on all these different boats and we show up and there's our boat and it's just, it's metal. Just metal. <laughs> Bunch of scrap metal. Yeah. Talk but about being in cool. love with it. I mean, you really created the idea, the boat itself. You got to watch every baby step. Now yes. you're, you know, in business running it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm glad the first few months were, were very challenging, you know. So working out new equipment, new ways of doing things we doubled our over doubled our numbers yeah. so for dinner our max capacity before was about 45 we can now do between 70 and 80 people for dinner so wow. i think these are pictures of it being built right here isn't it yes okay yep. there we go i did find them <laughs> yeah it's so, so yeah cool. from scrap yeah. you can tell yeah this yeah it, it was it was a long process um but exciting and I'm glad that we have it here in our community and we can offer that as a venue for yeah fun things to come it's like um yeah. again like I said like Miami Vice like you're going back in time <laughs> 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 well that is not the only business that you guys own no no uh we have our well I mentioned our jet ski rental company at the Aquarius and then um we also have a motorsports shop which is going to be taken over 
by our son Alec. So he nice. is now going to be the CEO of that company. The owner, you guys get to let that one <laughs> yes. go and focus on the rest. Nice. Yep, and then TTR Rentals, the UTV rental company. Um, he may go down that venture as well. I'm I'm not sure yet, but uh, I also this year started a another business venture, which is called River Wellness. Yes, tell us about that. And this is right down my alley. That is. My whole vision for that company was to um, create a kind of a resource center for women who want to connect with other women, talk about, you know, just holistic healing, yeah. mind, body, and soul, all of it together. Because you might physically feel good, but maybe you don't mentally feel good. Or yeah. you might mentally be okay, but physically you're not. I mean, it's really uh, like encompasses your whole your whole self and to really dive in and see who are you, Christy? What's your purpose? Oh, like, now you're going to make me here cry. For? <laughs> uh -oh. Well, it's hard, right? Because as women, you hold a lot on your shoulders. You do. And you don't really pay much attention to yourself. It's always about the kids, you, the family, the husband. You, you do. And there's a huge balance. And I found, I was a stay-at-home mom for many years. And then I was, through my divorce, I was forced into the work field, place, whatever, chose real estate. Um, my mother was in real estate at the time. My sister was a mortgage lender. Mm. And so we kind of worked together. And then I eventually got off on my own and, and went to a big brokerage and, and started my own real estate business. But um, it, w it was challenging. And it's hard to be a mom and balance yeah. home life. And because I think it's in our nature, we want to give right? You want to always give back. You want to fix, you want to help, you want to yep. <laughs> do all of these Make things. Make everything nice yes. and pretty out here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And sometimes in that process, we neglect ourselves. Yeah. So that's really about trying to find the ways that we can nourish ourselves and we can keep our cups full so that you can give back more. Pay attention to yourself and what's going on inside you. Yeah. And then that's going to come naturally. You're just going to be able, you'll be able to do that without struggling, without having that pull, that conflict, that feeling so heavy. Yeah. 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 So I planned, um, our first retreat, it's going to be held in October and it's a four day event. We've got all kinds of activities that are going to be amazing. Sound baths, yoga, nice. um, cacao ceremony. There's a gal in our area who does this on the weekends. Um, she's got one coming up on Friday and Sunday, but it's, but it's just kind of a nurturing type thing. Just nurture yourself and be kind to yourself and yeah. where um, can they find the information about that? So you can go to riverwellness.com. You can find us on Facebook also, River Wellness. The information is posted on our Facebook page. There is the itinerary there. We're gonna do some fun excursions. We're gonna do the jet boat tour. We're gonna do nice. the dinner cruise. We're gonna do a hike. Um, we're gonna do some meditations and love it. Just and some, in our area, we need, we need yeah, that. Yeah. We need that. It's, it's going to be, I'm, I'm very excited about it. And I'm excited to kind of get that ball rolling. And we need more resources, resources in this area, I think, Agreed. for that kind of stuff. So, yeah. so that's exciting. But I also want to tell you, I love this community. I am just so grateful. Like I told you from the beginning, I just, I knew I wanted to live here. Yeah. And every morning I wake up and I look out my window and I'm fortunate enough to have the view of the river and I just am thankful that I get to see that every day. Yeah. After all this and time, you still feel that gratitude, which I is love really it. cool. <laughs> you know, I love Sometimes it. Sometimes we lose that. So I, it's that yeah. your passion just oozes out of you. I love it. And here's I, the Facebook page for people that were looking. Oh yes. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. So you can search it up right. There's the name of it and that's how you yeah. find it. Awesome. Thank Perfect. you so much. Very cool. Got it. Um, so well, you guys are very involved in the community. That's what I wanted to talk about. I, uh, several years ago, um, we started with the caddis fly problem, trying yes. to rally up <laughs> troops and like, okay, what, what can do we, we do, do to solve this problem? Because it's a huge problem and it's a problem for all the casino properties. It's really bad up there, like that stretch. But I know along the river houses too, it can be... Um, it can be a problem, but, uh, so we, we have some, some resources now in our community. We have a em entomologist. I'm, I'm not sure 
quite how you say that word. But anyways, he's working on scientifically trying to figure out this thing, right? Okay. How to get rid yes. of it. <laughs> but a part of that piece of that was collaborating with the BOR. And um, I started a river flow committee several years ago. We oh. met with the BOR because we started seeing a change in the flow of the water. And yeah. it was affecting our business. We couldn't run our boats because right? we were like, what's, what, why is when this so different? Out? Why yeah. do you not? How what? come this happens? Exactly. <laughs> So we got together, we had a round table, and then that started the relationship with the BOR. So now we have, you know, uh, Bullhead City officials are on there. that call. We do a call once a month. Nice. It's called the River Flow Committee. Bullhead Chamber, Laughlin Chamber, Bull, uh, we got water taxis, and of course the Riverside who also runs a boat. So anybody and everybody who's affected by water, water flow. flow. Yeah. It's very good. And that presented a platform or communication opened up communication for this these um low flow reductions that they want to do for the caddis flies i started to kind of touch on that a little bit but we got sidetracked um so michael cavallero he's the bullhead city guy who does the caddis fly stuff um this year we're doing next in fact next week each month they do two days and they drop the river to a half a unit mm. which they hope will get rid of the larvae for and reduce the population of this gotcha caddis fly. so interesting um so that so that was kind of one committee that that we formed and i think it's really proven to be a night a, a really beneficial be, very very beneficial for all businesses to kind of collaborate and say okay let, let's come together and figure out how we can make this work for everybody yeah and um i am on the laughlin chamber board which great group of people I love my Jackie I love Jackie <laughs> yeah. she's great she's great um, and then I am also on the board of the River Fund so oh, I love the River Fund the yeah, River those are big those are big uh, key pieces to town yeah so that's great that you're on all of that how I ended up um, the River Fund was several years ago uh, I lost my mother to Alzheimer's Oh, I'm sorry. She had early onset Alzheimer's and she passed away in 2017 and watching her go through that struggle to to her end um, was very difficult. It's like watching somebody being stripped away from you right before you. Yeah. The, she couldn't speak. Stop. She couldn't. Yeah. So so it, it's kind of like watching a, a person just slowly disappear mm. and we started a fundraising event for that to to raise money for memory care oh. and folks that might have challenges in paying for um medicine daytime care doctors. medicine doctor's visits that type of stuff um, we started that back in uh 2016 i think oh wow so we did it 16 so yeah we did it for four years and after COVID, we haven't quite revamped that back up again, but I'd like to get that ball rolling again. Yeah. That's how I got involved at the River Fund. I wanted to raise money and I wanted to contribute, but I, I'm not a 5013C. <laughs> not, I'm not a nonprofit, so yeah. I needed a place to put that money. Right. So I reached out to them, and then several years later, they reached back out to me and asked me if I'd be on the board. So I was very honored to be able to serve in that capacity they help so but, many locally and yes so many important you know people yes cancer yeah. veterans I mean it just is, goes on and on it's a great resource and what I love about it is that it you can give to that organization and know that it's staying 100% local. local agreed yeah it's very important. so yeah it's, it's cool they are a great resource for our community Okay, guys, we're running out of time, okay. but nobody has come up with the answer. Do you want to give a hint? Let's give a hint. Yeah, give a hint. Okay, so there was... Uh, it's hard not to, gi to give know. a hint and not give it away. I huh? know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess the hint would be the, Aqua the now Aquarius Casino used to be the flamingo hilton yes mm -hmm. and it has something to do with the flamingo hilton 
<laughs> here we go, guys. You got a couple minutes here. Got a couple minutes. If it's, you have some answers, if not, we'll continue to follow up with the chats and, and whoever's, whoever's first, first to get it. gets it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we'll yeah. yeah we'll let Bree know. We have talked about this in the past, so yeah, we have said it in some of your presentations. Yes. Yeah. I got to watch a presentation of how this boat was coming together and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, holy heck. And what was really interesting to me is your guys' love for the celebration and for this new boat and for the community and for this town. That it wasn't just um, just this venture for you. It's really your heart and soul. Yes. Which is super cool. Yes. yes thank you. I love it. All right, guys. You guys, someone's got to come up with it. <laughs> Well, we'll I'm keep sure watching. And <laughs> we'll I keep watching. So new. don't don't stop putting in what your what your thoughts are on it because it could be a yes. You don't know. I mean, you even got time to do a little research. All right? Who doesn't want to ride on that? Yes. <laughs> with lunch included. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's amazing! If you guys have a moment, check out our community spotlight that we did. It's in Facebook under videos. You can see that there. Um, where can they find the information on how to get the tours on the boat and the pricing and all that good stuff? So you can go to LaughlinRiverTours.com. That will take you to the Grand Celebration. Uh, we also have the London Bridge Jet Boat Tours. Um, you can kind of interact with both pages on, on Laughlin River Tours. Yes. There's a link to get to any of our other tours that we do. So. Yes. So if you're in town visiting, if you are local, it is a great... I mean, it... The day passes were really inexpensive. How much is it to do just your like your two hour? For the day cruise is nineteen dollars during yeah. the week. I mean, literally, you could grab the kids, go out, take the tour. I'm mean, super fun. And also, I almost forgot to mention. So we are running a local special now. I love local, local special. Specials. Local special. So for the dinner cruise, it's ten dollars off. Oh, really? Per nice. person, yes, with your local ID. Nice. And is that okay? So is that across the river and river? That's that, always is the that thing. Nevada That's local. Yes. And yes, and yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> some people want to know. Yes, yes. It's tri-state area we consider local. I love that. <laughs> um, and it it's for ten dollars off for the dinner cruise Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Nice. Nice. So tonight. So, yeah. Tonight you could go. Yeah. And it's ten dollars off per person. You can't Boom. beat that. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Ticket we will night. look forward to you guys answering the trivia question. Again, we will continue to watch um, and hopefully find a winner. Thank you so much for having me here. You're it was so, so welcome. Fun. Thank you for being so involved in the community. You know, uh, one thing I love about this community is everyone shows up for each other, and you guys have done that numerous amount of times. So thank, thank you for you. showing up. For well, thank you. And for giving us this opportunity to have this amazing boat and for being on the show. Hey guys, That's shop right. local, support local. Remember the trivia question. Let's get some answers in there. Have a great day. Thanks, Bree, for coming on. Bye. Tell Thank Trevor you. we missed him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>